Alright, yeah. we're on Mayhem TV. I want to big up Darker and the Duke. We're at the Cafe de Paris at the defamation of Strickland Banks Plan B live show. This one's going to take you to my cigarettes. You know it? The sound? If you call it sound, this is taking you to my cigarettes. So. When ten I said long, ten, ten years in the game, yeah. Yeah. hard but in it. Like first time I heard of you, you were signed to um, three six nine. Um, oh, oh wait, wait, six seven nine. Six seven nine, right? But it's all yeah, numbers. It's all good. It's all numbers. You get me. You yes, dropped right. that album. Yeah. The album. You did it. Yeah. Rave reviews and whatnot. Mm -hmm. you, came, you came back out. I, I got some mixtape that I downloaded off you. Um, Painted black on. Yeah. Mm. Then when I heard that, I thought this guy is serious. He's doing this thing. He's mm. doing this thing. Then you did. You did your little indie touring thing. Dropped the, yeah. the jumped onto the film thing. So what's what's the latest going on with you now? Just I just I'm doing this soul album, man. I love yeah. I love soul music and I've done this, this you know it's a story like all my stuff stories. This is one big album which is one big story about a soul singer. And so I've done two albums. I've done the, the album through his eyes, which was all written in soul, with a little bit of rapping, and then the album through my eyes, which was like straightforward dark hip hop that I'm known for. And the label said that they didn't like, no they didn't like it, they said we can't market your hip hop. Because the way I make hip hop is not pop man, it's hardcore, you know, I'm getting down and dirty. Yeah. I'm telling it how it is. They said we can't market it, and I'm like yeah, you know what, cool, yeah, I understand you can't market. But what I wanted to do was we market the album as a double album, uh, and release the kind of Motown stuff commercially, but then you'll get the underground hip hop stuff with it. You know, which we can then give to specialist radio, and then therefore my kind of hip hop brands have something to keep them happy. And and the label wanted to split the album, and they said you can have the, the kind of hip hop stuff, and we just want to use this. And in the end, you know, this one album is, is in, ended up becoming so much hard work that it, it, it's a good job we went with it. So right now, when you come to a Plan B gig, I'm going to be singing soul mostly. Wow. You, know, you, you can't be hearing kids. I'm going to have my fuckers in hoods going, play sick to death. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm in a suit. I'm in a yeah, fucking man. whistle. You know what I mean? Like, it's a soul thing. You know, I'm trying to get people used to this character, Strip and Bank, because he's supposed to be a famous soul singer. And in the story, he gets... He gets... Uh, his name gets... Dragged through the dirt. Dragged through the dirt. And he gets uh, accused of a crime that he hasn't committed. And he gets convicted and he goes to prison and that's where the album starts. It's like he's an innocent man in prison but he's famous. Everyone thinks he's guilty. And you can imagine what kind of shit's gonna happen to a sweet boy like that in prison. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? And in this album we don't touch on all that nasty kind of kind of hardships that he goes through. There's more soulful and singing. But there's this next album, you see when I spit the albums I give the other album another name and that's called The Ballad of Belmarsh. Alright? And that's the hip hop shit. It's going to be dropping on the underground within the next six, eight months. When I get a chance to go in the studio and finish that shit, that's coming out. So I'm still hip hop. Mm -hmm. So fucking of you lot that doubt me, it's like what Drake says, yeah, all them motherfuckers that doubt me will be begging for their forgiveness. Straight up, you will. And so, like, yo, be a, be a fan of Plan B and don't be a fan of the first album and perceive me as I'm always going to be that. No, motherfuckers got to grow, motherfuckers got to change, and uh, that's it.